Hey guys, this is Stuart from Samoid Life here and today I'm going to be reviewing a different kind of brush called the Self-Cleaning Slicker Brush from Rufus and Coco. Now before we even start the video, I want to make it clear that I'm in no way affiliated with Rufus and Coco. They haven't paid me to do this review for them and they didn't send me the product for free or anything either. I bought it with my own money so you can trust that this is a 100% genuine review of the product. So let's first talk about how I would normally brush Simba and Bear. For day-to-day -day brushing, I almost exclusively use a slicker brush just to keep them clean and keep their fur nice. And then if I'm trying to pull the loose fur out, I'll use a metal comb instead because it gets a little bit deeper. So the slicker brush I use is just for a general coat maintenance. And as you've seen in my previous video for grooming, I also use it to help me dry them off after a bath because it helps separate the fur and let the warm air from the dryer penetrate and dries them out a lot quicker. So the reason I wanted to try this brush is for a couple of reasons. The first one is because of this feature, this little button on the back here when you press it, it pushes out all the fur and muck that the brush picks up. So the brush should hopefully stay a lot cleaner. And the second feature is this one, that the pins that you can see here are slightly rounded on the end. So I wanted to see how that brush changes the brushing experience for the dogs and if it does a better job than a regular slicker brush. So I gave Simba another bath because unsurprisingly he's completely filthy again and I figure I'd try to use this brush initially as a replacement for the slicker brush during the drying process. But as you can see, I only got to really brush him one time with this brush and he totally hated it. And you can see he's really like, well, what the hell was that? And he stands up compared to normal when he pretty much just goes to sleep while I'm drying him because he's so relaxed by the process now. So the reason why this happened is because the brush really pulled on his fur quite a lot. And I could feel it too. As soon as I did that first brush on him, I could feel like, oh geez, this is gonna be really hard work. Now it seems pretty logical thinking back now, but the reason why this happened is because of those little rounded pins that the brush has on it. When the fur was wet, it made it way harder for the pins of the brush to slide through the fur, and it really kind of tugged on his damp fur. So I basically stopped trying to use it right after that because I don't want him to be uncomfortable when I'm grooming him. I want it to be an enjoyable experience. So I decided to try it out on completely dry fur next and see how that went. Now, Bear, on the other hand, he was totally fine with the brush. He was completely dry. I tried brushing in the same direction of his fur and then brushing against the direction of his fur just to see how he liked it and to see what it did to his coat. It was still a little bit more difficult to get through his fur than the regular slicker brush, but it really did seem to lift a lot of that dead fur out at the same time because of those little pins on the end. They really did a good job at picking up the loose fur and removing it. So that was quite interesting. Now, because this initial test went okay, I gave the camera to my wife and then I tried doing a little more thorough brushing with it and it was actually pretty good. This brushing method here is a much better way when you're really trying to get all the loose fur out, particularly when they're doing their big seasonal shed. You just work on one little pack at a time and you separate the fur with one hand and you brush away with the other hand and actually lifted that loose fur out pretty easily and he's not even really shedding heavily right now so that's pretty good. Now once the brush got full of fur the little push button cleaning furniture worked pretty nicely and made it easy to empty the brush and keep going but I wouldn't say that that is a particularly life-changing feature or anything like that it was just a nice little addition uh, to the brush overall. Now at this point, it seems to me that this brush is kind of like a midpoint between using a regular slicker brush, which maintains the coat, and using a rake or a steel comb, which is really for lifting out all that loose fur. I'd say it's kind of a halfway point between the two. I definitely won't be throwing out my slicker brush as I originally thought that I might, but it's possible that I might actually start using this brush instead of the steel comb when it comes to lifting out the loose fur, because I actually found it easier to handle physically with the little rubber handle and the shape of the brush compared to the regular steel pin comb. So I think that will probably come in handy when the weather warms up. Now the self-cleaning slicker brush cost me $14.95 plus $6.95 for shipping. That's in Australian dollars, so $21.90 in total, which is about $17 US, which I think is pretty reasonable. It did a pretty good job of cleaning and brushing up the fur as well. So overall, I'm gonna give this product a seven out of 10. Now, if you've got any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget, you can follow these furry little fellas via your favorite social media channel, or you can just visit the Samoid Life website.